let's dive into my failed business in Ghana and the lessons that I learned from it. So I made a video about my two years kind of wrap up in Ghana, and I definitely forgot to mention this. We tend to forget our failures, right? Okay, so let's jump into it. If you've not subscribed to the channel already, can you do so? It helps a lot. Thank you. If you guys been hearing me right on this channel, I said that my father has a water business and that water business is located in the mountains, which is in the eastern region of Ghana. And it's not too far away from me. It's about an hour drive. So I came up with this idea that I could help my father expand because my father usually sells the water around the eastern region, which is from Latte all the way to Ebri. Um, that's, that's where they know the water and it's quite popular. I think it's like the second and most popular water in that, in that region. So I was trying to help him expand to this side where I live. I had some free time on my hands, so I spoke to a couple of people, and this is where the mistake came in. Usually with a water business, you need your car to supply the water and all that. My father has three cars, and one of the cars was bringing me the water all the way from the mountains, you know, and then I got to take it from there. So I had a shop that usually I could take up to like 600 um, searches at a time, and the goal was to sell that daily. So um, I needed people with a tricycle to take the water around. So before I even went ahead and started this business, I spoke to a guy that I know who drives tricycle. And I said I was going to pay him on commission, uh, which is what the drivers um, at my father's place get. They get paid based on commission, how many bags you sell, you get, you get commission on each bag. So I spoke to this guy. He agreed that he was going to do it. As a matter of fact, he was very happy to do it. And he introduced me to, to his friend, and they were going to use their tricycle to kind of like distribute the water, right? So everything worked out. I rented a place for two years. I had two years lease on it, big mistake. The water came in and of course I need an employee to kind of sit in front of the shop and kind of make sure everything is, people come in the shop to buy, it's gonna be a little cheaper than people who buy it from the tricycle. So if you come in by yourself, then you eliminate the tricycle guys and then you get it from basically like the depot, right? So. That was a business battle. I was supposed to pay for the gas, diesel in this case, that my father's car used to bring, bring the water to me from the mountains. This is before the Russia-Ukraine war that caused you know, diesel and all these prices to just go through the roof. This is before that. My father decided to take up the cost with regards to the, the diesel in the beginning because I had invested a lot of money into, you know, uh, renting this place and buying all the other stuff it wasn't fair to me because i'm going to start off with a loss people don't know um the water in this area and it's not easy for you to drink water that you don't know i mean it's common sense i was well aware of that so i knew it was going to be very hard to kind of like you know compete with the well-known brands around i was all for the task though so i decided to start delivering the water around myself right so all this while the tricycle guys started telling me stories so to make a long story short, he did not come and I was essentially screwed and it became very hard for me to find a tricycle guy who would do it. As a matter of fact, I did not find anybody. He just kept telling me stories because you have, you know, Waltec and all these, you know, big companies, why the hell would they work for an unknown brand, right? It is known in the mountains, but not here. However, I managed to start selling it, right? Out of my Prado Land Cruiser, I put my entrepreneurial hat on and I started selling myself. With the help of my driver, we were delivering it or selling. Slowly, but we were catching up. And eventually, I was going to end up buying a car and all that. But the problem came in when they increased almost double the price of diesel. I mean, in Ghana cities, it made no sense. And on top of it, um, everything started going up, right? Prices, this is before prices started going up. But I just felt like I couldn't uh, raise the price. I wanted to use the price as my advantage for people to say, oh, this might be, this water's cheap, let me try it. And if it's good, they're going to go that route and then they get hooked on that and eventually i can you know increase it to match up to um the big guys that was the whole game plan and uh to couple this challenge with the diesel and all that so i eventually had to take over paying the diesel and i had to pay somebody somebody was in a shop that i have to pay monthly and this person was my worst employee ever and i'm about to tell you guys why so um when I hired a guy, long story, I'm not going to go again into the details, but I hired a guy based on history. He's been fired from somebody um, that, you know, kind of in my neighborhood and I felt bad for him. So big mistake on my part. <laughs> um, I hired a guy to help him out. He was living in an uncompleted building. 
So the car wash that I've been showing to you guys um, has a building on there, um, was well secured, um, more cleaner in there. So I decided to give him the key to that building to stay there. Huge mistake. So this guy was basically just causing me a lot of issues, telling me stories. I'm not even gonna, you know, get all into all of that. But it was one day where he said he got robbed with the sales, you know, the, the work that he did for me. I didn't go there for like three days. So he had all that money piled up. And now he's saying that, you know, he got robbed. I let that go and I told him when, if he gets robbed again, um, basically uh, I'm gonna deduct that from his pay and a whole bunch of stuff. I don't wanna go get into the details, but basically, this guy was asking for money, telling me stories that his mom is sick and this. I always happen too often. I would catch him sleeping, like this deep sleep. I'll be waking him up. He would tell me stories that, you know, he's sick and all kinds of stuff, right? Um, but the tipping point was he checked himself into a hospital one morning and basically uh, gave my number out to the, to the nurses that they can call me. I will come and pray for him and all that. And before this, he was already telling me a lot of, basically bullshit stories about people trying to come there and cause issues because this guy who's bothering me on the land i did mention it to him briefly that, that when we were demolishing the house behind they, some people came to bother me so he had an idea as to the issues that i was facing so he used this issue to his advantage and basically was just coming up with stories that people came there looking for me and all this crazy stuff at night yeah. to make the long story short in the hospital um, that's when my sister, I called my sister that this is what's going on. And she told me that that guy's probably on a drug known as Tramadon or something like that. It's like, uh, painkillers or whatever. If you take it off, you get high as a kite. And that's basically, he was what he was on and he was high. That's why he was sleeping. That's why he fell in the gutter one time. And that's why he was able to scratch himself to tell a story that he got robbed and whole bunch of stuff. So I just had to call his auntie. I mean, after the first incident, when he said he got robbed, I had to get to know his family because I don't want any issues. So when he checked himself into the hospital, I'm like, this guy's going to cause me a lot of issues. I just basically um, called the auntie to come and get him. Um, and then we knew he was on drugs because he was shaking in the morning. And in the hospital, they say he left and he came back and then he was okay, some, something like that. And the money that he had with him, I asked him, where is my money? He told me that the money is in the house. And later on, he said he can't find the money. To make a long story short, the guy was basically a junkie. And my driver also gave him a bicycle to take, take it to work and all that. He sold the bicycle. Um, my driver actually couldn't believe it that this guy was actually on drugs. Me, I was sold. Like, it all makes sense to me. So when my sister told me that I put two and two together, I'm like, I was sold. I'm like, yeah, this guy got to get out of here. So my driver didn't really believe me. He was the one who delivered the car to his auntie because we wanted to deliver him safely. So we get our hands off him. Uh, the next day, my driver found out that his bicycle was in a, in a bicycle shop. It had been sold by this guy. That's why he believed that this guy is actually a drugs. And that's quite a funny story. So with the price increase with regards to the diesel, uh, my employee just you know, caused me a lot of issue. And this tricycle guys, uh, refusing to take the water, that means I have to go ahead and buy a car or something. And it does not make any sense business wise to buy the cars. I have to pay for four for the mountains to bring it. I did the math, it doesn't make sense. So I have to close it down. So I've rented a shop for two years, but I only operated this business for like three months, I think, three, four months. And I had to cut it short, right? I think three months, if I'm being three months. I had to cut it short, and that's exactly what I did. And then I gave the shop to a guy who lives with me right now to use it for dry cleaning because we're going to do that in a minimal. I decided to start building the clientele from now. And we did that. And, you know, he's very grateful. And, you know, I use that as a form of charity. He's very happy. And we're trying to move that into the minimal. Then we're going to start business from there. So this concludes my failed business. I just had to stop it. And it doesn't make sense for the water to come all the way from the mountain for me to buy a car pay for both it doesn't make sense so if you've not subscribed to the channel already can you do so like this video as it helps with the algorithm comment let me know what you think and until next time my friends be legendary peace